This video will uh, demonstrate how to simulate a parafoil, which is uh, basically the airfoil shape for a paraglider or paramotor wing. Um, it's basically an airfoil that um, is inflated. <clears throat> so it's used what's called the ram air principle where uh, oncoming free stream air is used to um, basically inflate a hollow uh, wing shape uh, made out of you know cloth of some sort um, so <clears throat> let's first go over the mesh um, you can find all the code that I'm using here is in the link in the description the github link um, so once you've cloned the repository um, here are all the main files and first we'll go over the mesh so we're using gmesh for this and uh, let's see here. So here you can see our domain. Uh, this is the inlet uh, for the wind tunnel, the outlet, and the walls. And here we have a simple basic parafoil shape. Um, I did not grab this from any uh, resource. Uh, I just uh, sort of uh, loosely followed the patent drawings, uh, so it's a very basic shape. Um, this line here um, uh, is the opening, and these are the actual cloth surfaces uh, with a blunt trailing edge here. I found that uh, uh, due to instabilities, numerical instabilities, um, having a blunt edge here rather than a sharp trailing edge um, will prevent your simulation from blowing up. Um, so we're going to use uh, in open foam what's called a baffle, which is where you can take a simple internal face and make it a, a thin wall. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. So let's exit out of there, and all, all it takes to run this complete simulation, the meshing and everything, all you need to do is um, run the run.sh script. Um, I've already run it ahead of time since it can take a few minutes to produce a converged result. And here are the results. Uh, first, let's see if there's anything else interesting I need to describe here in the repo. Um, there's nothing particularly new about this repo compared to my other ones on this channel. So, let's see. Well, uh, since my use of baffles is quite rare. I'll go over the baffle dict. So this tells um, OpenFoam what internal, usually OpenFoam ignores internal faces, but you can specify them to be walls with through the baffle dict. So here's a simple uh, definition. You can set internal faces only to true, to which this baffle dict applies. Um, and here's where you define the baffle faces. Um, so let's see. The the zone is the volume name that you've that you set in the GMesh script. Um, flip. Um, I'm not exactly sure which which is the right value for this, but um, whichever causes your simulation to work. Um, I, I tend to just iterate between true or false until my simulation works. Um, and yeah, these are simply the names you've ascribed to the internal faces uh, and the type, the physical boundary condition, which is a wall in our case. And master, master and slave patches are the two sort of um, patches that are made from the single internal face. And of course, we want the slave to be the same as the master. Um, because we want this to be an internal thin wall. So yes, this airfoil name, um, I'm sorry, zone name, it, I said it was the volume, but I meant it's the the actual face uh, surface. And this is the name I've given, 
I've given it in the GMAS script because we can uh, get here. So here at the bottom, you can see I set, set the physical surface, not volume, to airfoil. And these correspond to the to all of the internal lines, um, you know, excluding, of course, the opening, which we'll leave as an internal face to be ignored by OpenFoam. Um, all right. Oh, and I've also added uh, the uh, decompose project. It's a really basic uh, definition. Um, you basically can uh, you, you need that if you want to run a parallel simulation. I didn't run the parallel simulation, but it's here for your convenience. If you need to, you just uncomment this line and this line. This 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 command will decompose your mesh into parallel regions, um, and the decompose par dict will be used automatically to uh, define the way in which the domain is decomposed or split up between your cores. And this is, of course, the actual parallel run command. Um, but uh, I, I just use the single core run uh, here for the present results. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the results here. We can see the velocity field. Um, so uh, you can see it's like a stagnant, pretty much stagnant region inside the airfoil as we'd expect from, you know, uh, the, the ram air inflation principle. Um, you can see it's a little separated here on the bottom lip. Uh, so that probably signifies we need more grid resolution here. As you can see, the grid is not that, it's not that fine there. Neither it is at the top. It's a very simple mesh. So you probably want to refine those according to some, you know, some rational basis. Um, and here is the pressure field. You can see it's a very high pressure uh, region uh, compared to immediately outside the surface of the parafoil. Um, this, um, this is of course consistent with you know an inflation um, and we would expect this airfoil at this uh, angle of attack to have this shape due to it being fully you know pressurized inside. Um, that is pretty much it for this repo. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comment section.